Hello and welcome to the next Crack a Pack episode. Today we are opening up a pack of Scorch. There are a lot of interesting cards in this. Uh, not, I, I say a lot, there are a few interesting cards in this. Sliver Overlord is really interesting. Uh, personal favorite card of mine, Stifle, is also in here. We actually got one once. Uh, I don't know how many of these we've actually opened on the series, but I think it's been two or three by now. So, uh, really cool stuff. We are, of course, going to be looking at this from the standpoint of a limited uh, draft. So we'll see what we would actually pick uh, as our first pick in a pack one, pick one situation. So we will go over every card. The first card we have is Divergent Growth. One green, instant, until the end of the turn, lands you control, gain, tap to add one mana of any color to your mana pool. Definitely not a very good card, I don't think. Uh, temporal Fissure, four and a blue for a sorcery, return target permanent to its owner's hand. And you can also storm with this. So basically you get to copy this spell and you can choose new targets. Uh, for as many other spells that have been cast this turn. Uh, I'm not a huge fan of this, only because it's it's kind of just fine. Hopefully you'd get one or two extra uh, targets with this, and if you do, that's great. Uh, but I don't think, at, f at five mana, it's going to be kind of tough to make that happen. Uh, so, so far, uh, I'm actually going to skip because I kind of like this better. Uh, misguided Rage, two and a red for a sorcery target player sacrifices a permanent. Yes, it is any permanent, but any permanent is going to set them back. So I'd probably have that over the uh, the Fissure. Uh, Dragon Scales, one and a white for an enchant creature. Uh, gets plus one, plus two, and attacking does not cause it to tap. So basically has Vigilance. Uh, when a creature with converted mana cost six or more comes into play, you may turn Dragon Scales from your graveyard to play, enchanting that creature. Uh, normally, I don't like enchanted creatures solely because it leaves yourself really open to two-for-ones. Uh, if they remove the creature that the, the enchantment's on, then it's just kind of gone forever and you kind of wasted a card. That being said, you can actually play one of these in the deck and it just recurs itself if you have the, the creature support. Uh, so I actually kind of like that over uh, the sack outlet there. Uh, actually, this card's really good too. Death's Head Buzzard, two, one for three, it has flying. Uh, when it's put into a graveyard from play, all creatures get minus one, minus one until end of turn. I think that shoots up as my top. Uh, it has flying, it's, it's good uh, for three mana, two, one flyer is decent. And then it also has some upside when it dies because it is going to kill not just your opponent's creatures, it could kill yours, but it also just helps you overall. Uh, spark spray uh, for one red deals damage one damage to target creature or player and you can also cycle it not a bad card by any means uh, I think you would you know if you ended up playing one of these in your deck you're not unhappy about it because you can cycle it uh, but definitely not first pickable Ooh, this is though so twisted abomination is great a five three for six you can pay one black and regenerate it and it also has swamp cycling so you can go fetch out a swamp for two uh, this card is actually just a game winning bomb uh, it's fantastic, so that's definitely, so far, my pick. Uh, Sprouting Vines, two and a green. Search your library for a basic land card, reveal it, and put it into your hand, then shuffle your library. It also has Storm. This is an interesting card, but not one that I would take in a limited environment at all. <clears throat> um, Coast Watcher, one in a blue for a 1-1 one -one flying uh, with protection from green. Decent upside, it's not a bad card, but really uh, a 1-1 one -one flyer is really just going to ping in the air for a few turns and then probably either get killed or just outclassed. Uh, so not my favorite. Torrent of Fire is interesting. So 3 and 2 red for a sorcery. It deals damage equal to the highest converted mana cost among permanents you control to target creature or player. This card is fantastic. Uh, it generally will do a decent amount of damage that makes the 5 mana cost worth it. That being said, I think I would rather have the Twisted A-Bomb above that. Uh, Zealous uh, Inquisition, Inzik, Inquisitor, I can speak. Uh, I can't read from where I'm actually uh, looking at this, so I apologize. Uh, this is a 2-2 two -two for 3. Uh, you can pay 1 and a white, the and the next 1 damage that would be dealt to the Inquisitor. This turn is dealt to target creature instead. Uh, definitely an interesting ability. You can kind of redirect damage if you need to. Uh, hopefully at either the opponent or at a creature the opponent controls. Uh, so it does kind of favor you in combat, but overall not as exciting as the A-bomb. Uh, Claws of Wirewood deals three damage to target creature with flying and each player. You can then also cycle it for two. I like this card, it's fine. I think nine times out of, a t out of ten you're probably going to be able to find a creature to actually hit with this. Um, 
That being said, I don't think it's amazing. It's not a game-winning card by any means. It's just a basic removal spell with a little bit of upside. Uh, so interesting, but not my favorite. Uh, Goblin Warchief is a 2-2 for 3 goblin spells. You cast cost 1 less to play, and goblins you control have haste. Uh, so this is a huge, huge card for the goblins deck specifically, but I don't think in draft I would actually just go for the goblins deck unless I really had the support for it. Uh, definitely a great card, though. Hugely powerful. Uh, Long-term plans. Two and a blue for an instant. Search your library for a card. Shuffle your library, then put that card third from the top. It is a weird tutor. Um, it's interesting. I don't think it's good and limited at all, uh, but definitely an interesting card. And then our rare, Primitive Etching. So two and two green for an enchantment. Reveal the first card you draw each turn. Whenever you reveal a creature card this way, you may draw a card. So... Uh, a card draw engine for green is always good, but I think on four mana, I'd much rather just be playing a creature. So that puts me with the Twisted Abomination as my first pick. I think this card's fantastic. Uh, some of you may be thinking I'm overrating it. I really am not. This card is great. Uh, genuinely, it will win games very quickly. Uh, it's very difficult to get rid of, and if you really just can't play it, you can swamp cycle it. Uh, it's easy to get multiple copies as well because it is a common. Uh, so definitely the card I would pick. Uh, let me know in the comment section if you disagree or if you did agree. Uh, but either way, make sure to like and comment down below. And make sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of our awesome content. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. And uh, until the next episode, guys, I'll see you later. Thank you so much for watching.